Mission Control, target has been spotted. Read you loud and clear. Keep up the good work. Roger that. I'm going in. Hey, cool tech you got there. May I see? You like it? Come here and take a look. This shows the GIS map of the Nature Preserve property and all the environmentally sensitive areas on our rights of way. You lost me there. What is a right of way? A right of way is a narrow strip of land that encompasses a transmission line and it allows us to keep vegetation from growing close to the line and allows for easy access for operation, maintenance, rebuilding of the line in the future. Hmm. Looks like there are a lot of trees surrounding these lines. Could these cause problems? Absolutely. Um, while we all love trees, trees and transmission lines don't mix. So the purpose of vegetation management is to keep vegetation away from transmission lines so that it can provide safe, reliable electric power to businesses, communities, and homes. We are constantly patrolling our transmission line rights of way uh, by air and by the ground to look for vegetation that might fall into or interact with the power line and cause problems. How do you manage the vegetation in these right of ways? Sometimes it involves using um, a mower. Sometimes it's climbing and hand cutting. Um, sometimes it's herbicide use. It's the right tool for the right place at the right time. Come on, look, let me show you. So here we are at the Mequon Nature Preserve, and this is a great example of how a transmission line and a property can coexist. This sure looks like a good place for a bug to land. It's a great place for a bug to land. Uh, plants like this are native to the state of Wisconsin and are great places for pollinators. So we like to promote the establishment of flowers and low growing species under our transmission lines to produce pollinator habitat. We actually have a program at our utility that promotes the establishment of pollinator species underneath our lines. Pollinators, now we're talking. Did you know that one out of every three bites of food you eat is there because of pollinators? Now that's the bee's knees. Looks like there are a lot of birds nesting in the trees around here. What can we do for them? Yeah, birds like to coexist with our transmission lines and we like to support that. So there's many options that we have. Um, first and foremost, we like to keep the birds safe. So as you can see from the wires here, some of them are more visible than others. And in certain circumstances, birds might hit those wires if we don't make them more visible. So we put what's called bird flight diverters on some of our lines. Um, another option that we have is birds sometimes like to nest on top of our structures and we like to keep them safe. So we will elevate those nests above the lines and keep them away from danger. In some circumstances, we will create off-site nesting locations for birds, herons, osprey, eagles. That way they can reproduce and have families and communities away from our transmission lines in a safe habitat. Sounds like a great way for us to be avian stewards. When I visited the Welcome Center, I noticed a whole wildlife community here, even endangered species. What can we do to protect these rare species? Well, there's a lot of things that we can do, and first and foremost is to avoid. So our environmental project managers make sure that our construction folks know where there's protected species so that they don't impact them during the work that they need to get completed. For example, some of the things that we do for reptiles and amphibians is that we fence off our construction areas so it prevents them from entering our rights of way. So things like frogs and turtles and snakes aren't impacted by the work that we do. Amphibians. Those are great indicator species, right? You're absolutely right, Zach. So they call them indicator species because if there's something wrong with the ecosystem, those are the first species that are not present any longer. So when you see those in an environment, you want to protect them. That means the environment or the ecosystem is healthy. It may surprise you, but we also need to think about the non-living organisms, you know, like water and earth. So how do we keep the entire ecosystem healthy? So there's many techniques we can use to protect the, the ground, the water, the air. Some of the things that we do when we're constructing a line is we install erosion control fencing. So any disturbance that we have doesn't run off site and go into streams or ponds like the one we're standing next to. 
This is a really nice wetland area, and when we're doing construction of a line or maintenance of a line, sometimes we use things called timber mats, which are large wooden planks that we put down that help us uh, traverse over wetlands and not impact them. Oh, and we saw some invasive species around here. What do we do about those? Yeah, invasive species are a real problem. So when we encounter invasive species on our right-of-way, uh, first and foremost, we try to avoid them. Um, but sometimes you can't avoid being in them or working in them. And in that case, we have to ask our construction folks to dust off their equipment, brush it off, use a high pressure air, um, whatever they need to do to keep those invasive species where they are and not transport them down the right of way or into other areas that haven't been impacted. Ah, I think I get it now. So you balance our electrical needs with the rest of the environmental citizens in this natural ecosystem, right? That's exactly right, Zach. It's our job as a company to responsibly provide electric reliable power while balancing the needs of the environment and promoting a sustainable ecosystem that coexists with our transmission lines. The environment is what supports everything, us and species, and if we don't take care of it, there is no alternative. I think my stealth mission here is complete. Let's check in with Mission Control. Investigators, please report. What's the inside scoop on electricity? Well, I've discovered that we have renewable resources and tons of technology to help us generate electricity. Yeah, and with the electrical transmission system, we can deliver electricity safely and reliably to where it's needed. Remember, it's a part of the national electric grid that keeps the lights on for our entire society. Plus, there are neat management pathways we can use to keep our environment healthy. Oh, and don't forget the people who we detected who make this possible. I think we really need to spread the word and share this report with the rest of the world. Excellent work, investigators. And what about you? Would you consider having a career in energy? And how is electricity crucial to your life and survival? I challenge you to discover those answers for yourself and your world. This is Director V signing off. organizations have provided funding for this Into the Outdoors television series.